This is News 3 Nightly at 6 with Jim Snyder. Three people died this weekend in an avalanche at a ski area north of Seattle. It's been eight years since someone was killed by an avalanche up at uh, Lee Canyon on Mount Charleston. But as News 3's Jerry Brown found out, the threat is taken seriously. It was an active day on the mountain. President's Day caps the final three-day weekend of the season for many winter sports enthusiasts. And on Mount Charleston, Lee Canyon Meadows was filled with the shouts of young sledders. While just up the road at the ski resort, lift lines were busy as a slightly older crowd looked to catch some vertical. How's the board up here? Great. Everyone's awesome. Some people get in your way, but other than that, smooth ride. But the weekend tragedy in Washington State, three out-of-bounds skiers swept to their deaths by an avalanche weighed on the minds of local snow sport professionals. Avalanche control in Lee Canyon is a daily precaution. John Morelli, Las Vegas Ski and Snowboard Resort. We've got an entire department that is, does nothing but uh, uh, take care of the avalanche mitigation. We also train. Metro comes up and trains with us. We, we train search and rescue. For Many preventive yeah. tactics are employed in the pre-dawn hours when slopes are empty. I'm holding a 105 millimeter howitzer shell. 20 of these big babies were fired by the ski resort on Friday morning up to the top of Lee Canyon to test the snow's stability. The purpose? To prevent avalanches. Kent Williams manages the ski patrol at the resort. Some of the blame for avalanches, he says, can be traced to the weather. The problem this year is because we've had so little snowfall. There's a base that sat there for a long time. It got old, it warmed up, it cooled off, it made for an unstable base. So then as we got new snow on top of it, it created a greater threat. But Morelli says the principal cause of avalanche deaths can't be blamed on climatic conditions. I'd have to probably say ignorance, uh, lack of knowledge, lack of education. Uh, and we do everything we can to overcome all those obstacles here. And when there is a declared state of high avalanche danger, as was the case in the Washington tragedy? We'll actually delay opening uh, until the, the mountain's safe for people to come up. It's, it, it's not worth it. Jerry Brown, News 3. You can see plenty of snow up there still. The Las Vegas Ski and Snowboard Resort plans to stay open if conditions permit into April.